Okay, hey y'all. It's me, Udoka. Uh, I know it's nighttime. Um, I have to make a video about this stuff about Shane Dawson and Jenna Marbles because it's really irking me. It's really freaking irking me. Okay, and so far the only people I've heard talk about it are white people. Here's a black girl's perspective. I've been on YouTube since 2006, 2007. Whenever it freaking got started, I've been on YouTube. And I've been following Shane Dawson and Jenna Marbles since they since their first viral videos, which was years ago, okay? Um Back then, well, I'll start with Jenna Marbles. Um, everybody is upset that she's leaving the platform. I myself, I've been incredibly impressed with her career that, I mean, that is insanely difficult to maintain years of being relevant on YouTube and being, you know, pra you know, for all intents and purposes, practically scandal free, I have been thoroughly impressed. Um, so the video that she came out with talking about um, the stuff that she could have said or done that was offensive, I'll tell you, back then, when I watched her videos back then, I was not offended. Um, even with the Nicki Minaj blackface, I didn't see it that way because at that time she was tan. And if you watched her other videos, like, here's how to not look ugly. And, you know, if you watch her parody makeup videos back then, she just had a bad tan. Like, that's just, <laughs> that was just her look. So I never was offended by any of that stuff. And I don't have any gender identity anomalies with myself so the girls do this boys do this that stuff didn't didn't offend me i had no issues with jenna marbles ever um and um I, you know if far be it from me to tell somebody that what if they think they're doing the right thing and and i'm just thinking no it's not that big of a deal but they think it's the right thing far be it from me to tell them not to do it if she feels that's what she needs to do then that's what she needs to do and i'm glad that everybody's respecting it with shane dawson however my issue is this i have an issue not necessarily with shane but with all of the people who are making commentary about it right now now i can believe that people who are into Shane now didn't know Shane Shane then I can, I can kind of believe it but also kind of I kind of not really okay not really um you're telling me that you drama channels and y'all people who spend your life digging through people's old tweets and old videos you're telling me this is the first time y'all seeing this uh, racist, nasty stuff? Are you kidding me? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think it's right now it's just trendy to act like you give a damn about that stuff. When that when those videos were first coming out, I could I when Shane Dawson first came out, I subscribed like everybody does. But then he started making that those those weird videos. I unsubscribed. I could not watch this guy and and he would keep showing up on my feed every day. And back then YouTube did not have a I'm not interested in this content thing. Okay? So I had to just consciously ignore Shane Dawson, Shane TV, consciously ignore him and this and it's just recently, in recent years, that, you know, I, I've been seeing his name again. And I'm just like, oh my god, really? But then I see, oh, his content is completely different now. Okay, I'll subscribe now. But back then, Shane Dawson was the guy. He was the YouTube guy. 
Um, for everybody who's trying to say, oh, these videos are disgusting. How can you joke about that? How can anybody think that's funny? He would get the most views on YouTube. He was like the most viewed YouTuber. Guys, do you guys not understand that the only reason he made that content was because people wanted to see it a lot. Yes, people wanted to see him in blackface. People wanted to see him make really, really weird jokes, inappropriate jokes with little kids. People wanted to see it. That is the only reason he made that content, y'all. You're telling me if you were a silly white boy that just wanted to make funny videos and... And you do a little shenane and oh you're the most viewed on YouTube. You're the you have the most subscribers on YouTube. You're telling me you wouldn't make more of that content and think that it's okay? I don't blend I listen. Y'all are acting so outraged like you care. You don't care. If you cared, you would have been talking about this for years. The These YouTube channels that are now talking about Shane Dawson, I have never heard you guys talk about it this whole time. Those videos have been there for literally over a decade. Y'all don't care. Miss me with that BS. Back then, you would get bullied for calling out that BS. You would get bullied. And all all kinds of people uh, messaging me. That was back then. YouTube had a messaging system. You could, you could direct message people. Messaging me the N-word and we was Kangs and whatever other stupid racist stuff that people thought was funny back then. Y'all miss me with the BS. I do not buy it. I do not buy it. I don't buy y'all. And you already know when it comes to, oh, you need to put it on an apology. And then the person puts out an apology. Everybody's going to have an issue with it. Everybody's going everybody's gonna to say, oh, it's not good enough. Oh, you're copying Jenna Marbles. Oh, this, oh, that. You guys are full of crap. You don't actually care. Because if you did care, you would have called this out years ago. And if you did care, you would address the fact that those videos were considered the most popular videos on YouTube at that time. So Shane Dawson is not the only one to blame. All of y'all. Who now, how old are y'all now? Y'all in your 20s, 30s now? Back when you were 10 years old, 15 years old, 20 years old, y'all were watching those videos, kicking with him, encouraging him, asking him to do more, asking him to, oh, do Rihanna, do, do this one, make fun of this one, make fun of that one. Y'all, the viewers, were there. And it was okay to y'all to let that exist. And it was okay to y'all to mock people who were calling out the BS. It was okay to y'all. It was okay to y'all to just leave black people on their little side of YouTube and whatever. Not a big deal. Y'all are oversensitive. And now all of a sudden you care. Miss me with that BS. I call BS. It is irritating to me. And I just had to make this video. Because I already know nobody's going to mention this. Nobody's going to talk about it. But y'all. The stuff that you're saying you hate about his past. Y'all co-signed it. Y'all know or you know somebody who co-signed it. Or the people who are subscribed to you now co-signed it. So get out of here with the, with the fake outrage. Crocodile tears. Miss me with that. 
And on another note, one more thing, because all those sex jokes with the little kids, um, y'all who are getting onto him about that birds and the beast talk he had with his little cousin, y'all, if the mother of that child says that it's okay, it was a joke, and I... I signed off on it. It was consensual. What your opinion is irrelevant. Do, what I mean, what are you going to go and now be upset that, oh, there's kids in R-rated movies? What was that one movie that Joe Rogan just put out with them little kids rate, rated mature? I think, I think it's, ra it's rated R mature. Okay, like... Now, all of a sudden, y'all going to pretend like parental uh, parental permission in acting skits um, isn't okay? M miss me, y'all. This drama community, all of y'all are so full of BS. <laughs> it's unbelievable how full of BS most of these drama channels are y'all y'all act like I don't know how to describe it it's like it's like a weird movie it's like a black mirror episode or something it's like <sighs> I think it's a term called virtue signaling Virtue signaling where you point out where somebody is not good enough morally, but it's like, well, are you? <laughs> Excuse you? Are you? Do you even meet the standard that you're trying to hold that person to? Shut up. That's my two cents.